yeah the weather is lovely and Yekaterinburg is just so nice let me just take this video of Yekaterinburg here ah the KFC no ah. it's a very busy city you have so much happening and of course the statue of Lenin over there yeah the weather is lovely and this is what fr fascinates me about Russia because you have trams you have cars you have people you have kids running up and down and many accidents many car boom uh, here I don't know. Uh, all right car? yeah accidents As the beauty of Yekaterinburg, city river is frozen. Whoa, whoa. The city that's Dynamo and the skyscrapers of Yekaterinburg. And now, oh yeah, administration, I can see that. But it's cold, it's minus 12. I'm gonna go for the smiley face. My smiley face. Boris Yeltsin Center. Yekaterinburg. And this is the car that he used on his official business. A nice limo. Nice. But ugly. Sorry guys. I'm just gonna read what's written here. Ga Chaika Gaz 14, Boris Yeltsin official automobile during his term as the first secretary of. Okay. Wow. That's a. Uh, it's quite interesting. It's, and we got a couple getting married today as well. So that's a bonus. You get that one for free. I've been into the center and it's beautiful I mean he left a nice legacy here and all the changes he's made and that is impressive I kind of like Yekaterinburg it's very nice what can you say uh, so it was 1991 I think it was built and that's Boris Yeltsin's name there. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. It's a bit cold. Churches. Three churches in this one place. Are we going to go and try and grab something to drink? It's a bit cold now. Your city is busy. We went to Boris Yeltsin Center. That was very nice. Walking Yekaterinburg with uh, the beauties of Yekaterinburg. Julia and Lara Croft That's the first time I've seen Russian people r running on a crossing <laughs> So back there we got the um, Philharmonic Orchestra of Yekaterinburg o Opera building? No, opera center, okay Opera, uh, left. opera na Leva So opera on the left Oh, chicken burger, burger. 
You know in Russia they can't really say chicken burger, say chicken burger, burger. This is old house. Uh, old house, okay. Yes. How old? How many years? Uh, money, um, Nobody knows. Oh, All right. Uh huh. One thing in Russia, they really love that KFC. It's everywhere, every city. Let's advertise in KFC. You can hardly go to any city or any big town in Russia and not find not one KFC, multiple KFC so KFC if you're listening you must put me with KFC because I've got food allergies so when I stop in any towns in the world I just produce like a KFC members card you know what I'm saying and then I can just eat as I go and you get to advertise freely on my channel of course I'm not saying give me your food for free, but you're advertising my channel, you gotta do something for me. That's how the world works, I'm afraid. And what's this? This is not a catering bag, isn't it? This. It's верхняя пушма. Yeah. Верхняя пушма. Верхняя пушма. Also, this is called верхняя пушма. This place, this area. Okay. Mm. And it's on like 10 kilometers from uh, Yekaterinburg. It's not 10 kilometers from Yekaterinburg. It's 10 kilometers from uh, my house. All oh, right. Okay. So it's still part of Yekaterinburg. Uh, it. <coughs> we have the border Yekaterinburg endings and begin uh -huh. the Verkhnia Pushma. Wow, wow, look at it's all this like machinery. It's like a part of Big Yekaterinburg. Yeah. So where do we start? We... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we yeah. might. And maybe I can translate. Or maybe you... through... It's oh. the invisible tank, I think. <laughs> yes, yeah, there's one that's invincible there. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> ah. ah, they have the English. Yes. Oh well, I can make I'm making my own film, so 
What is this one? Uh, All these are. Uh, it has the T34. Yeah, T34. It's the modification of the. They have the different uh, types of the bullets. Yeah. This is uh, different the types of cannons there. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, some tanks. Uh, oh, that one is longer. Yeah. Gee. So these tanks, they still work if they yeah. they, they can run the engine. All right. It's very very good. I think uh, all uh, the old tanks. Uh, if you start running the engine, it will work. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, they're all different. See, yeah. every one of th this uh, is different as well. This is the, um, it's produced in Stalingrad in oh, all oh. in uh, Stalingrad yeah. Volgograd. Yes. Now. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, oh, Stalingrad is Volgograd, okay. Yes. Volgograd, Stalingrad is the same. Uh, on the Ural Marsh, uh, they produced uh, these tanks in World War II. Produced uh, on our web, on our factory, on the Ural Marsh. All oh, right. Wow. Mm. Produced in Chilabinsk. Oh, it's, oh, this one from Chilabinsk, uh, okay. Chilabinsk have the heavy industry too. Huh. This one is wider. This one is much wider there. Wider? Yeah, it can ah. it's wide. Mm -hmm. Wow, this one has got a long cannon. You see, they use another type of the metal uh, on the uh, on top. Yeah. Uh -huh. on the mm. top yeah. This is serious machinery. No, no the, I, I think the tank is more interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this one you're more exposed, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's gone cold. Cold, man. The thing with the Russian coldness, it hits your nose first when you're walking, and it, mm -hmm. there's a time when you can't really feel mm -hmm. the tip of your nose because it hits you so hard. Mm -hmm. But your nose is cold and then your top lip start behaving uh, strangely. Mm -hmm. uh, like your top lip is, is freezing, your nose is painful because it's frozen, and you cannot do anything with your fingers because those ones froze a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. But you have a good... Uh, how is uh, The gloves. Um, oh, yeah, these are insulated gloves, but they don't really work, help. Wow, you can oh, tell it's... All oh, uh, ah. uh, impressive collection of machinery from yeah. from World War. This from World War Two, yes. Uh, I think it. Wow. But uh, another part of exposition we had uh, more modern techniques. Oh, this is interesting. This one. Remind me the caterpillar. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a. <laughs> is this for? Oh, oh, it's got a digger as well. Uh -huh. Maybe it removes landmines. Because uh, you saw the heart. Uh, yeah. Yes. So when it shoots, it uh -huh. it moves as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are the brakes on this one. Yeah. yeah. When I visited uh, last time, it uh, was uh, not so big collection. Uh. Also, oh, the this collection gets bigger and bigger. Uh huh. Oh, this, this is this is a strange one. This is artillery, mobile uh -huh. artillery. Whoa. That's a that's a big steam engine. Gee, these guys, they've really collected, man. That's a lot of collection here. Do we want to use it early? No, I think a photo. Uh -huh. Ah, a photo somewhere here is better with all the yeah, four yeah. engines. <laughs> yes, yes, train. definitely, mate, definitely. Yeah, oh, you can't even think. Because your nose freezes. Like my nose is frozen. This is the uh, Iset uh, ho hotel. 
Is it? Yeah. Is it? Uh, oh, it's Iset. like a uh, name of our river uh -huh. in, the, in the city, and uh, it was built in the beginning uh, of the 20th century. Uh -huh. Oh, military University on the left. Yeah. All right. Traveling with my friend <laughs> Alex from Yekaterinburg. Yeah. He's been showing me around the town. Alex, you want to say hi, mate? Hi. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm on duty today. Ah, do you know that's the um, first word uh, what we learn uh, at the school on English is uh, my name is uh, Alex, uh, for example, and after that I'm on duty today. But in Russian it's mean like uh, we have the big board yep. uh, and the uh, um, teacher uh, drawing some letters mm -hmm. uh, and you need to remove these letters. All oh, right, okay. You need to wash uh, the board. Oh, oh, you need to rub the board off. Yeah, yes, okay. And, uh, if you have uh, this, uh, how can I say? if you go into the bathroom to wash the uh, textile, mm -hmm. you're on duty today. Oh, <laughs> you're on duty. Oh, so the, the first lines that you learned of English is Hi, my name is, uh -huh. and I'm on duty today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> There you had it from Alex himself, learning English in Russia. <laughs> Children have to learn simple things like my name is, and then you say your name, and I'm on duty today. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Pink sky in Yekaterinburg. That's nice. Tomorrow we will die or not? <laughs> uh, because pink, yeah. pink is. Um, it's normally associated with ladies, so maybe you call it ladies night. Because uh -huh. it's all very pink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that was Yekaterinburg, my friends. I hope you have seen it and enjoyed it with a pink sky. Uh -huh. Yekaterinburg Arena. Oh, Yekaterinburg Arena. This is the removable uh, benches. Oh, uh, right. Seat. Okay. They ah. removed it. Oh, they've removed the benches. Okay. Yeah. It looks like a basket. Yeah. Some uh, England uh, journals said that it's the ugliest stadium in the history. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's nice at night. I mean, I haven't seen what it looks night, like, yeah, but it looks it looks very nice. <laughs>